okay, going to show you the pagan roots of the Islamic symbol, the crescent and moon. Basically the crescent and moon with the, the star in the middle, which is basically the sun. I'm going to show you from the scripture that basically moon worship, sun worship, because that's what Islam is. You know, Allah is basically a pagan Arabic moon god, and the Bible condemns moon worship. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse number 5. And he put down the idolatrous priests, whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah, and the places round about Jerusalem, them also that burned incense at the Baal, to the sun, and to the moon, and to the planets, and to all the host of heaven. So burning incense, worshipping the sun, the moon, the planets, whatever, is sin. It's condemned. And Islam is indeed moon worship and sun worship. Here is a picture of this mosque or this tower over in Mecca and big symbol on top is they have this crescent moon facing upwards. This is, uh, you can see that below with Mecca and everything, but you see they have the crescent moon as their symbol. And of course they don't have the star in the middle, but they have that crescent moon symbol. Next picture, very kind of telling image, because it kind of ties into some of the pagan Egyptian gods, or one of the pagan Egyptian gods, is you have the crescent moon with the sun in the middle. So it's representing the sun, basically worship with the moon. So it's paganism. You see there right there. In this next picture, more clear picture, you have the sun right in the middle with the moon. So you have the star with the moon. That's where you get the symbol from. And compare this with this picture of a ancient Mesopotamian moon god, they have the same symbol. They have the crescent moon, you know, the crescent moon symbol. Of course, they don't have the sun in the middle, but they have the exact same symbol that was on top of that mosque in uh, Mecca, the crescent moon symbol. It's a pagan symbol. And then, of course, there's the Egyptian goddess Isis, uh, which is kind of funny because there's an Islamic terrorist group, Isis, too. I mean, how ironic is it that they have the same name? Don't think it's a coincidence, but uh, you have Isis with basically the moon or the sun in between these like little crest, this little crescent thing on top of her head, like a crown or whatever. And it's kind of funny too how she's holding an infant child, kind of like all the Roman Catholic pictures of the Virgin Mary always have her holding an infant child. And that's because the Mary of Roman Catholicism is Isis. It's it's a uh, it's like a pagan goddess. It's the queen of heaven condemned in Jeremiah uh, 44 and Jeremiah chapter 7. It's not the Mary of the Bible. Mary, the Mary of the Bible had other children and she was not a virgin her whole life and she was not sinless either. But it's kind of funny how the Roman Catholics had the same kind of type of iconography and idols as the pagan Egyptians and the Muslims. Islam has the same type of symbolism on top of the crown of this pagan goddess. The bottom line is that Islam, as well as Roman Catholicism, is pagan moon worship. It's pagan idolatry. Roman Catholicism obviously is pagan Roman, uh, Greco-Roman religion repackaged. And Islam is simply pagan Arabic religion repackaged. Pagan Middle Eastern religion repackaged. That's why they have the crescent moon. Because you saw in that picture, you know, it's the symbol of a Mesopotamian moon god. You know, who is Allah? Allah is a moon god. Allah is not the god of the Bible. Because the God of the Bible tells us not to worship the moon, not to burn incense to the moon, not to burn incense to the sun and the planets. Uh, so that's the thing. Islam is moon worship. It, it goes back. Allah was worshipped by the Arabians before Islam came on the scene. Muhammad simply just got rid of the other pagan Arabian gods, but just kept one, Allah, and made it into the God of Islam. That's why they have this, the moon symbolism all over these different mosques and everything. It's moon worship. Allah, like I said before, Allah is a pagan moon god. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism or one of Rome's daughters, Islam, because obviously Rome is the mom of Islam. It's, a sermon, it's actually a sermon title too, a really good sermon. But obviously Roman Catholicism created Islam, and both Islam and Roman Catholicism are pagan, uh, pagan Arabic religion and pagan Roman religion repackaged. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.